let's see a question from integration we need to solve this integration so obviously we'll uh, solve this by the help of partial fraction so how to proceed with this so we have x divided by x minus 1 whole square and this is x plus 2 first you are getting repeated linear factor so for repeated linear factor what is the rule start with power as 1 so x minus 1 power 1 and go to this power up to power number 2 up to power 2 so we will have to write once again and this time it will be power will be increased so 2 we will stop here because we have got this power now third factor is a linear factor so for linear factor we know what we do constant divided by x plus 2 and this constant will be different from c it may be equal also but that uh, will uh, we will know only after solving that whether this constant c is equal to either constant a or b or not that's a different state but uh, we assume this to be a different constant now we'll start solving so first of all we'll uh, write this as x divided by x minus 1 whole square x plus 2 now with a you will get x minus 1 whole square i'm basically taking lcm and x plus 2 is it true no why because you already have one x minus 1 okay so we'll have to write this power only one because one x minus 1 already i have so i have only x minus 1 into x plus 2 this factor okay now plus with b i just have to write x plus 2 and with c i will have to write x minus 1 whole square fine divided by now you are thinking that uh, x minus 1 x minus 1 whole square itself contains x minus 1 two times so i don't need to multiply another time with x minus 1. okay so this is x minus 1 whole square and x plus 2 as in most of the cases this denominator will get cancelled i will get this x equal to a times x minus 1 x plus 2 plus b times x plus 2 c times x minus 1 holds now as usual start comparing the coefficient okay now because uh, you have got x minus 2 twice okay x minus 1 sorry twice so uh, going with that method of uh, uh, taking uh, making these values of uh, making whatever is with a, a 0 that will not work so we will have to manually compare the coefficient that is only choice left so we have a coefficient of x then we have the constant terms also okay so we have to compare that things but before that uh, what we can do is we will have to simplify it a bit more okay so this will be a times x into x is x square x into 2 is 2x and minus x so you will get x here and then a minus 2 plus b times x plus 2 is fine and c times x square minus 2x plus 1 fine now we have three types of coefficient either the coefficient of x square or the coefficient of x or the constant term so we will compare that one by one 
first of all coefficient of x square so in rhs we have a plus c but in lhs the co x square term is not present so its coefficient is zero next we have the coefficient of x which is in rhs a plus b minus 2c and in lhs that is equal to 1 last we have the constant term which is minus 2a plus 2b plus c which is again equal to 0 because in lhs we have no constant now what we can do uh, we have uh, a plus c equals to 0 and a plus b minus 2c equals to 0 ok so this is one equation and from this two equation we can eliminate for that what we need to do uh, because this equation is in a and c so i want to eliminate b from here so multiply this equation by 2 so if you multiply that by 2 you will get 2a plus 2b minus 4c equals to 2 and from this equation you are getting minus 2a plus 2b plus c equals to 0 ok so once I do this uh, a, a is getting uh, eliminated ok so rather if I subtract because I don't want to get equation in b and c so if I subtract sign will change and now uh, this will get 4a minus 5c this will get cancelled equals to 2 this is one equation and from this equation I can write a as minus c so if I put here I will get minus 4c minus 5c equals to 2 so minus 9c equals to 2 so c is minus 2 by 9 so at least I got one value that is of c and that is minus 2 by 9 once I got the value of c ultimately the value of a will be negative of that so the value of a is 2 by 9 and I have a relation between a b and c so from there I can get the value of b so for value of b a which is 2 by 9 minus 2 times c ok equals to 1 minus b so this is 2 by 9 so 6 by 9 is 1 minus b so b is 1 minus 6 by 9 so that will be 9 minus 6 that is 3 by 9 1 by 3 so b you are getting as 1 by 3 so you have got all the three value b as 1 by 3 a as 2 by 9 and c as minus 2 by 9 so smartly plugging in the values so we have integral of x divided by x minus 1 whole square and x plus 2 dx that is equal to a which is 2 by 9 integral now first was a divided by x minus 1 so 1 upon rather dx divided by x minus 1 second was b which is 1 by 3 divided by x minus 1 whole square
and third one I think minus 2 by 9 divided by x plus 2. So minus 2 by 9 odd side and integral of 1 upon x plus 2. First and third integral is fine. Now for the second integral what you can do that if you take x minus 1 as t automatically dx will become dt. Okay. So your integral will become dt by t square that is t power minus 2 dt. So t power minus 2 plus 1 that is t power minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c. So this is minus 1 by t. So if you are getting uh, the values it will be 2 by 9 dx upon x minus 1 linear factor and coefficient of x is also not there. So simply log mod x minus 1 divided by 1 doesn't matter plus 1 by 3 minus uh, 1 by t you are getting. So if I were to remove this minus sign. I will get minus and uh, into 1 by t extra. So, because t was my x minus 1. And the third one that will be simply minus 2 by 9 log mod x plus 2. No coefficient of x is there, so no division plus c. Okay, so this is what you are getting as the integral of x divided by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 d. Okay, uh, if you want uh, you can play with the, the values of uh, first and third. And also you can write this uh, c as log c and you can do all sorts of simplification. One thing I can show you that if you take uh, 2 by 9 common in first and third, you will get log mod x minus 1 minus log mod x plus 2 minus 1 by 3 x minus 1 now log a minus log b is log a by b so 2 by 9 log you can take a common mod and x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 okay uh, c you can uh, no need to write as log c because one term is there without log. So for that uh, you can simply write this as minus 1 by 3 x minus 1 and the constant as plus. So this you can leave as your final answer. I hope you understood this question. There was no uh, big deal in this. Just a repeated factor like this start from power 1 and go to this power. So power 2 we stopped. And for linear, just a constant divided by x plus 2. We just simplified, compared the coefficient. That was a lengthy process. Then a simple integral was there. 1 upon linear is uh, log mod that linear divided by the coefficient of x. Okay. And this was a plain substitution x minus 1 as t. That turned out to be minus 1 by t plus c. So I hope you understood the, this integral. Thanks and have a very nice day.